Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, I got two things here. I got two things here. I have some incredible news for the Dallas Cowboys. No, we have not signed Devontae Adams or anything like that. But I have actually something that's really, really crazy. But before I get to that... <clears throat> I do want to show something here that <clears throat> it makes you wonder. I mean, you walk into your team meeting and you got, you know, D. Law and Micah sitting in the front row because of, you know, injuries that they're dealing with. Um, but it is, it's a, it's a great opportunity for others, and uh, we're excited about it. You know, we, you know, we took a step in New York. Um. Okay, I bet you're wondering why did I just waste two minutes of your time watching Jerry Jones fly a helicopter in while the players are out warming up for practice. Because I'm going to ask the same thing to Jerry Jones. Are you telling me that you had to have your helicopter land on the field while the players were there? You couldn't come a little bit earlier and land, you know, so it's not like a distraction from practice. The noise, the wind, you know, all that stuff. And this is the same guy that says, well, you know, we couldn't afford Derrick Henry. We, you know, that Dante Adams, he, he's a baller and everything. He'd help our team a lot, but, you know, we can't afford him. <laughs> this is where you want to literally just pound yourself on the head. You want to just go Dolt! over and over again. This is where you just want to go, is this about winning football or is this about the show? I'm beginning to believe it's just about the show. So, anyway. Here's the good news, okay, now that I'm moving on from Fire Jerry Jones. So this is interesting to me. I want to read this because this is from the boys at Pro Football Focus, okay? They're putting first quarters all pro. First quarter all pro. We're going to break that. We're just going to look at, listen to what they say about one player, okay? It's not on the Cowboys. It's not on the Cowboys. But that's okay because it's going to make sense in a minute. Defensive lineman Dexter Lawrence has broke out in a significant way over the last two seasons. After a solid start to his NFL career, Lawrence has blossomed into one of the best defensive linemen since the start of the 22 campaign, evident by his back-to-back -back selection for second-team All-Pro. Back-to-back second-team All-Pro. Based on the first four games of the season, he could be headed towards a third All-Pro order. Pro Football Focus released their 2024 first quarter All-Pro team this week, where Lawrence was one of two defensive interior linemen recognized. One of two. 
Lawrence, 18 total pressures trail only Chris Jones of the Kansas City Chiefs among players on the defensive interior, wrote pro football focus Gordon uh, McGinnis. He is excellent against the run, too. The 26-year-old has registered three sacks through the first four games, which put him to, on pace to shatter the previous career high of seven and a half sacks in 22. His 18 total pressures also put him on pace to break his previous high of 65 pressures, which he reached last season. Additionally, Lawrence has registered 12 total tackles, six quarterback hits, and a pass defense. Everybody knows how good of a player he is and how he has affected the game and affected the quarterback. It's huge. Huge. It's huge. Quarterback Daniel Jones said last week, no one surprised he has played so well. While the talented defensive lineman certainly deserves the praise for his performance, he is far from concerned about his stats and accolades. I don't look at the stats at the end of the game, Lawrence told reporters uh, last week. Um, last week's game against the Cowboys. I don't look at the praise. I don't look at nothing I prepare for next week because at the end of the day, the goal is to win the Super Bowl. My stats don't matter. If I had none and we win, then I'm happy. It doesn't matter to me. I just want to win. So is it safe to say that he is a dominant offensive lineman? We're talking about 18 pressures and three sacks in the first four games. That is a major production, especially on a team that's ass-ass, okay? Ass-ass, right? I have to give credit to the Giants. That guy is good. But here's the thing that's kind of interesting. It's interesting that he said that, you know, after, the, after he was interviewed after the Cowboys game, that he said that he doesn't look at the stats. He doesn't care about that. He's only interested in, um, you know, the next week and winning. Well, so he, he went home not happy because, of course, they didn't win. But here's the thing. Because you're like, why are you praising this guy? Well, he's not a cowboy. We're not going to trade for him or anything like that. No. The reason I say this is I want you to understand that this guy who has had 18 pressures in four games, you might as well said he had 18 pressures in three games because you know what he got going against our rookie center? Cooper BB, okay? You, you know, the juggernaut. The juggernaut I told you about. Zero. Zero. Zilch. Zingo. Nothing. Nada. Couldn't get off the line of scrimmage. Cooper BB. Yeah. Going against a all pro. A guy voted all pro for the first quarter. Our rookie center, our new Travis Frederick, did that. That, my friends, should make you feel pretty, pretty good right about now. Shout out to the BB family. Shout out to Cooper Beebe, who was keeping Dexter Lawrence off of his quarterback. Something nobody else has done this year. So if you're looking for something good and hopes for this season, it's going to be these young guys that pull it through for us. So there you have it, good people. Um, and, of course, we all sit here hoping against hope that we'd actually get something done um, for the team. But... You know, we're the Cowboys. We don't do anything extra. So there's that. All right, good people. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. My God, it's almost 11 o'clock. Where did the day go? Um, There's always so much to do and never enough time to do it in. But I appreciate you guys. Peace out.